Question number 25 is a rhetoric question on transitions, and you might even call it word precision. Word precision is basically the closest thing that the SAT has to a vocabulary test. So you have to basically understand how the words however, hence, likewise, and nevertheless function uh, as vocabulary words. They're all, also, these words are also, in particular, transitions. They, you're transitioning from an idea here down to an idea here, and this word will help you in that transition. So the overall structure simplifies down to basically you've got this idea. So you see what happens with sea otters, transition. With everything down here is without sea otters, and so there's a very strong comparison there, and you need a very strong transition and the right transition word. If you don't change it, the no word nevertheless usually indicates a return to an original idea. So let's say you had one idea, and then you could go to a, the second idea, and then you'd say the word nevertheless back to idea one. That's most often how the word nevertheless is used. Uh, that's not what we have here. We have an idea one, and then the word however works really great because then you go to the opposite. With sea otters, sea otters, transition, and however, without sea otters, bam, this is what happens. C, hence, is usually indicates cause and effect. So you, you talk about a cause, and then hence, the effect occurs. Likewise, it usually indicates further evidence, meaning you've got an example, and then likewise, the, the other example also applies. You might have some big idea and two examples, uh, both supporting that big idea. Likewise is a good way to transition from your first example to the second, but that's not what we have here. We don't have two examples. We've got opposite ideas or opposite examples, if you, if you want to call them examples. Anyway, answer choice is B is correct, and that's why.